This is SMNI News Channel, Truth That Matters. Association. Mr. Sing Chiu, how are you? Yeah, fine, thank you, doctor. And uh, we have Senator Juan Ponce Enrile. Hello, Sing? Yeah, yes, sir, uh, doctor. Uh oh. And um, say, Senator Enrile was just saying that he has been taking coconut oil, and uh, that's why he is now 98. In other words, uh, testimonial na yan eh. Ha? Wala nang mga kailangan. But uh, saying, may I, may I ask, what is the difference between cooking oil na crystal clear din na ginawa ko sa Minola at itong virgin coconut oil? How does it differ in the process of production? The major difference is uh, the cooking oil used was uh, from copra or not uh, fresh coconut, mm. while the virgin coconut oil from fresh coconut, uh, fresh coconut and processed straight without high heat. Mm -hmm. Because uh, in refining, you have to use very high heat, around 250 degrees centigrade in removing the odor. Mm -hmm. We call it deodorizing. Yes. While uh, virgin oil, we don't uh, undergo uh, deodorizing. That's why it has coconut aroma. So when you say ba, from... I said, say, say ba, one. So the little, in the bar, uh, and cocoa, uh, and virgin coconut oil, a cold, cold process. Huh? In the one of heating your... Uh, mm -hmm. I mean it. Tama, cold process. Ang sinasabi, cold process. Ang sinasabi oh. ni Chu Sing, sa refining kasi mang Juan, uh, sa atin, Ay, uh, po, when yung, you yung, co yung coconut oil, re-refine uh, uh, uh. for, for uh, cooking. For cooking, tama. tama. For cooking, pero may, may heating yun. You, yes. You produce coconut oil by heating. Correct, correct. That is the normal process. Uh, uh. But uh, sa... Sa, sa virgin. yung virgin coconut oil na puti, puti uh -huh. yan. Uh -huh. ah. Ah. Eh, kwan, cold wal process. walang color. Walang color. Mm -mm. Ay, yan eh, cold process. Oh. Yeah. Yan ang sabi nga ni Sing, uh, that's the difference between the cooking oil, uh, pero sa color mang Juan, mag-ingat sila. Kaya nga sabi ko, dito sa programa natin, ipopromote natin ang genuine, ang totoong virgin coconut oil. Pero yung mga hindi, delikado. Kasi ho, nung natatanda ng mga Juan, nung nasa Minola ako, tayo, eh, ginawa ko na talagang clear na clear. Kaya pag binuhos mo yung Minola cooking oil, puti yan, wala kang makita parang, eh baka mamaya isali niya sa mga bote. At ipagbibenta ngayon dahil sa uh, lalakasan. Eh di, kawawa naman ang tao na bibili ng mas mahal na yung pala ay cooking oil lamang na transparent kasi ang pagkagawa. So, uh, tanungin lang natin si Sing. Sing, uh, yes. you, you have, what is the carbon change that is used for virgin coconut oil? Actually, the carbon chain in virgin coconut oil is uh, C8, C10, C12, C14, C16, C18, complete. Mm -hmm. While rich, uh, yes, uh, uh, cooking oil has the same. Only more, in cooking oil, more C18 because of the uh, palm kernel, I, I mean, the skin use in ah. processing of uh, cooking oil. The skin is what you call pairing oil, right? Uh, not Pairing oil is uh, included in the uh, skin of the meat. Ah, okay. Mm. Hindi yung kinayod pa. Kasi after getting the meat, pag kinayod mo, that's the pairing oil. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, uh, si Mang Juan kasi familiar dyan eh. <laughs> Has been in coconut yes. for a long time. He, his, he, uh, his factory is our neighbor. Ah, really? Neighbor pala kayo oh, Mang Juan eh. Oh, sa Candelaria. Oh, neighbor daw kayo. Yes, eh. we are in San Pablo. San Pablo? Oh, uh -huh. ako, sa Candelaria. Sila, hindi ba doon na 
yung uh, ano yun, yung San Pablo, yung dat na, yun ang sentro, anong pangalan ng kumpanya doon? Yung mga Tuason, ang mayari. Uh, no, uh, Tuason is uh, in the Chiaong and uh, Candelaria also. Oh, kaya sabi nga ni Mang Mang, Candelaria. Si ano yun? Yes. Yung mga Tuason nga, uh, ano bang pangalan nun? Uh, Peter Paul. Ha? Huh? Anong... Peter Paul. Ah, Peter, Peter Paul. Paul. Peter Paul. Peter Paul. Pe uh -oh. Peter Paul is owned by the Tuasons, hindi uh -oh. ba? Until now? O baka they, they have uh, divested them, uh, themselves already ata sa kukulang? Ang mayari ng Peter Paul na lang po. Franklin Baker. Oh, they, they have. They, they still have. Franklin Baker is uh, the other one. Uh -oh. And then Peter Rubar. Paul is... Uh, Rubar uh, bankrupt. Peter Paul is, in, uh, uh, is owned by the Tuasons. Oh. Yes. <laughs> they own the uh, Blue Bar and uh, Peter Paul. Yeah. But uh, now Blue Bar, uh, no, no more operation. Uh, what is that in Davao? Mayroong isa sa Davao eh. Davao, many. Many. Uh, many, huh? Because of the many. supply, no? Because of the supply. Yes. Uh, many uh, uh, <clears throat> establish uh, additional branches in Davao. Uh, because it is cheaper to use uh, to go there and use rather than transport the coconut all the way <laughs> to Manila and Quezon. Yeah. Anyway, uh, going back, ito. So, uh, C8, uh, am I correct to say in the re re research that I have, no, that C8 is the one that can kill virus, envelope virus? Uh, actually, it's C8, C10, and C12 that uh, deactivated the uh, lipid coated or envelope virus. Viruses. It should be a lipid coated. And HIV coated. is uh, envelope virus. Uh, lipid envelope yeah. virus. And corona, which is COVID-19 is also envelope. Uh, lipid envelope. Yeah, lipid, yeah. Lipid. Yeah, lipid. Yes. Lipid is oil, no? It's enveloped by yes. oil, yeah. So, uh, maganda ito. The, the, the Yusek Ruena Cristina Guevara came out uh, with a statement yesterday through television. Mm. In fact, that, uh, oh, Mang Jess, mm -hmm. nandiyan, na si, nandiyan na rin sa ah, Zoom. Ah, nandiyan na pa na. We, we can... Mm -hmm. oh, Mang Juan... Si Yusek uh, Ruena Guevara of DOST is also with us. Uh, Nakasum din siya. Mm -hmm. At uh, gusto ko lang ipaalam ka, baka hindi niya narinig, mm -hmm. na ito ho, mi, uh, de Director uh, Guevara, ito hong sa oil na can kill virus and so on and so forth, 30 years ago ho, pina-study namin ito sa Harvard Yukonis Hospital. At saka, in-study ni Dr. Enig ang, ang laban nito sa virus ng HIV. And I have all, sabi ko nga kay Mang Juan, I have all the studies, the, all the complete studies of this. And that was done 30 years ago, but the studies came out after about 6, 5, or 7 years. I don't know if you are aware of this, uh, Dr. Guevara. Our researchers are aware of uh, yes, okay. studies on uh, VCO. Yes. Uh, what we have established are certain things related to COVID-19, and our researchers have already published in peer-reviewed yeah. journals. I know. Because before that, pinag-uusapan namin dito ni Lamang Juan yung issue na ito because I was the, at that time chairman of the United Coconut Associations of the Philippines, and I was also one going to... Uh, Harvard talking to Dr. Babayan, Dr. Blackburn, and Dr. Enig of, uh, of New York. So, uh, dati na ho namin alam ito because when they tested it with HIV, HIV is also lipid envelope virus. Kaya ho yun ang ina-associate sana namin na nung maaga pa. At saka si Dr. Derrick the father of Derrick that you mentioned, was the one we commissioned also to use the same protocol in Harvard in Do It in the Philippines with Dr. Intengan. Yun. So, pinaalam lang ho namin, baka hindi alam ng ating mga ano na 
Noong pa, uh, mayroon na, sabi nga ni Mang Juan, siya pa umiinom na ng oil noong pa, and he is now uh, 98 years old. So anyway, uh, ano? Mang Jess. Yes, Mang Juan. Mang Jess. Kanina lang, umaga, uminom ako ng two spoonful. Yun. Of virgin coconut oil. So okay. every, every day yan. Oh. Two spoonful in the morning, two spoonful before I go to sleep. Galing. And... And Mang Juan is 98 I, years old. I'm, I'm 98 years old. Two years from now, Mang Juan will be receiving 100,000 pesos, Mang Juan. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no, no, I know, I, I know. Mm. I do not need that anymore. No, 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 hindi naman yun, Mang Juan. I was just saying that uh -huh. uh, it is a part of the, pra uh, of the pra practice now. Mang Jess, by yeah. the way, si, si Yusek uh, Ruena Guevara, yung mm -hmm. Undersecretary for Research wow. and Development ng DOST. Siguro, mangungumusta muna tayo dun sa, ano, sa De, update. Oo, oh, yung sa, update ano, muna ni, ni, ni oh, si, uh, si Director Guevara. Mm -hmm. Ano ho ang masasabi nyo, uh, yung update lang, yung trial niya ginawa nyo, Mrs. Uh, Director Guevara, pakilang? Meron po tayong mga studies on uh, virgin coconut oil. Yung isa po, yung ginawa po ni the Dr. Fabian Dairit ng uh, Ateneo de Manila University. Tinest po nila sa isang uh, laboratory, Biosafety Level 3, sa Singapore, kung ano po yung tinatawag nating um, efficacy ng lauric acid sa derivatives against SARS-CoV-2. Hindi natin magawa sa Philippines yung experiment dahil at that time, wala po tayong biosafety level 3 na pwede kang merong live virus. So when they tested sa live virus itong uh, virgin coconut oil, napansin nila na yung virucidal activity at saka yung viral rep replication ay naapektuhan ng BCO. In general, yung virucidal activities ay uh, they estimated na nagiging moderate na estimated nila na bumababa po yung virus virus natin oh. pagka konti lang po sila okay. so parang kung mild case pa lang po pwede pong gamitin itong covid-19 ah uh, itong vi virgin coconut oil against covid-19 mm. tapos syempre ginawa din po natin ng live na study sa Santa Rosa yun naman po ng uh, Food and Nutrition Research Institute headed by Dr. Imelda Angeles Agdepa they studied uh, mild patients na nandun sa isang uh, quarantine facility sa Santa Rosa. And uh, what they found out was that if you use BCO three times a day, uh, ang amount po depende sa weight ng tao, pero parang around one tablespoon each time, idinadagdag lang po sa pagkain nila, at nakita po nila na hindi po naging severe cases itong mga mild cases na to, tapos mas maaga po silang gumaling kumpara doon sa control group. At ngayon po, sinusubukan din po ulit yung study sa Valenzuela at saka sa Muntinlupa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, maganda. May, Magandang may balita I... yan. Ang, ang issue lang dito... Ah, sige, Singh, you want to say something? Uh, Singh? Actually, the problem of uh, those studies are the dosage that they recommended are for normal people. Actually, for more with physical challenge, uh, patient or people should at least double the dosage. What was recommended by uh, Dr. Bruce White was for every 50 pounds, a tablespoon. But uh, that's for normal people to increase uh, the, uh, uh, the resistance, the, uh, the immune system of the people. But uh, since they have a mild COVID cases, I, I mean, uh, they, they are affected already. So at least they have to increase the dosage. That has been my advocate to increase the dosage of VCO when you are physically challenged. Not only one tablespoon per meal is for those normal or healthy person. So okay. I would suggest a good problem because uh, based on, as I said, based on Dr. Bruce Weiss, recommendation in his books, one mm -hmm. tablespoon for every 50 pounds of body weight okay. to improve the uh, uh, immune system. Yes, yes. Seeing here is uh, part of our coconut oil refiners 
we were part of those that made the study 30 years ago. Uh, if I may reply to uh, Mr. Cynthia's mm -hmm. comment, mm -hmm. the prescription was 1.2 milliliters DCO per kilogram body weight. So you can compute if you ah, want to. Ah, okay. And uh, may, ano, meron pong prescribed amount mm -hmm. from the study. G ganito yan, uh, Director uh, uh, Rowena. Yusek. Ay, ay, Yusek pala, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yusek, sorry ha. Yusek pala, binababa ko, sorry ha. Uh, ang, ang itong study namin noon was done by Dr. Enig in New York. Ibinigay ho ito sa grupo ng mga HIV patients. Two groups. Ang isa binibigyan, ang isa hindi. Later, after a few months, Gumanda ho ang health nitong mga uh, binibigyan. Yung kabila naman hindi. So, doon na patunayan na ito ay kayang uh, pagalingin o patayin at early stage yung tinatawag nating lipid envelope viruses. That was done. Nasa akin noong mga studies lahat. Kasi kung alam ng researcher nyo, dapat noong pa na, i, na, i, na ipagbangga na ito at saka yung itong sa, uh, sa COVID kasi yung COVID is also lipid envelope virus. Yun. Anyway, uh, mabuti naman ho. Pero ang problema ngayon, Mang Juan, uh, choosing uh, uh, Yusek Guevara, dahil sa na-announce nyo, nakakatakot ngayon dahil sa maraming unscrupulous people na gagawa ng remedyo Katuloy nga, sabi ko, ang Minola kasi, nung nasa Minola ko, ginawa ko yung clear na clear. Alam ni Mang Wads, yan, chairman namin. Eh, pag binuhos yan ngayon sa mga bote at ibinenta, kawawa naman yung mga tao. Na yan ay, mayroon din yan, pero not as concentrated as the uh, carbon changes in, uh, in uh, uh, virgin coconut oil. Kaya nung last Saturday, nung dinidiscuss namin ito, last Saturday pa, uh, because I came out in my column, Uh, ang nung dinidiscuss namin, sinasabi na namin na kailangan ang Philippine Coconut Authority, ang DOST, last Saturday ito ha, eh, kailangan mayroon tayong standard ng nitong mga uh, itong, uh, virgin coconut oil upang sa ganoon, maproteksyonan din natin ang taong bayan, ang consumers, dito against this unscrupulous guy who will now take advantage of the situation. Yun ho ang nakakita. If I may. Yes. Alam niyo po, meron akong Philippine National Standard for Virgin Coconut Oil. It's a well-defined property and characterization of the Philippine Virgin Coconut Oil. At ang amin po sinasabi sa taong bayan, pagbibili po kayo ng VCO, saan po ang bilhin niyo? Yung may PS mark. Kasi ibig sabihin po, certified po yan ng ating mga certifying body. Ayan po ay VCO. Yan po sana ang i-advise natin sa taong bayan. Kesa po matakot po kayo na may mga unscrupulous na ah. gagamit ng mga fake VCO, mm -hmm. hanapin na lang po natin yung PS Mark at bumili lang po doon sa mga tamang bilihan. Madam Salamat Yu po. Madam Yusek, ito hong abang lingkod nyo ang lumalaban sa smuggling for fat past four years at sa mga sub-standard products. Mm -hmm. Don't rely on the PS Mark. They will imitate your PS Mark. Kaya kailangan ngayon talaga i-examine ng mga planta para makita kung talagang ganoon din ang ginagawa namin sa plywood, sa steel bar, sa lahat. Don't rely mm. on the marks. Kasi talagang ang magpipike ho, hindi pipikein lang yan, pipikein pati marka lahat. Mm. Available po ba yan, ma'am, sa, ano, sa, sa FDA? Pwede po bang ma-access yan? Halimbawa, kasi uh, yes. mahirap kasi ngayon, uh, ang, ang dami mga brands, di mo alam, baka magkakasing uh, kulay lang. Tapos yung pag nagtanong ba sa FDA, ito po yung brand na nakita ko, legit ba to? Meron bang kopya na pwede magtanungan, ma'am? Meron po sa database na nasa website ng FDA para malaman mo kung yung brand na pinipili mo ay kasama sa approved ng FDA as VCO. But do you have a standard of, uh, halimbawa, steel bars? Every 20 tons, we pull one for testing. Uh, sir, ginagawa po yan ng Metals Industry Research and Development no, Center. Ay, alam ko, alam ko yan. Uh, but meron kaming pag-uusap din yung Metal and Research. I am now the Vice Chairman of the in, uh, uh, Interagency Task Force on Steel ng DTI. Kasama ko ang DOS rin. Uh, ang punto ko lang ho is dapat ito maipaliwanag natin na 
How do they test this? Dapat, bawat planta, mayroon din silang test results na pinapakita sa atin. They should maintain, like the other companies, plywood or whatever, they should maintain a logbook mm. where they will uh, put the test results. That when you inspect, the food and drug will inspect, they will see. Ayan. Yun, yun ho. Papalik ko lang po sa BCO, sir. Mm. Ang FDA po, pag nag-issue po sila ng tinatawag na Certificate of Product Registration or CPR, may kalaki po yan na tinatawag nating LTO, License to Operate. So pumupunta po ang FDA dun mismo sa planta at nire-review po nila lahat ng processes ng planta bago po ma-issue yung LTO at saka yung CPR. So yung mga brands po ng VCO na matatagpuan natin sa website ng FDA, ibig sabihin po dumaan po yan sa masusing paraan mm. ng pagpasa sa LTO at saka sa CPR. Kaya makasisiguro po tayo na nga produktong VCO galing po dito sa mga kumpanya may CPR at LTO na inisyo ng FDA ay tapat po na VCO. Mm. Uh, Yusek, huwag ko kayong magalit. No? Marami na akong nahuli na sa B-standard na sa labas. Mm. I have been there for 40 years. Anyway, okay lang. Uh, we will we'll, we'll look at it. We'll look Dr. Jess, mm. Dr. Jess, para lang po din malinawan ng ating mga publiko. Kapag po meron po po tayo natagpuan na ganyang klase na fake po, kailangan po i-report natin sa FDA. Matagal na po namin ginagawa po, yan. Uh, meron naman pong uh, arm mm. ang FDA para po gawin niya ang pagre-review. At nag issue po sila ng uh, anyway. warning public na huwag pong gamitin yung particular na brand. Okay. Yusek, maitanong ko lang kung yung pag-review ba natin doon sa every uh, kada planta, ano po ba yan? Meron po ba tayong regular base bago sila uh, bago sila bigyan ng ano? Uh, mga sa ila, isang taon, ilang beses tayo nag uh, ano kung tama ba, standard ba yung ano nila? Tanungin nga natin si Mang Juan. Ang LTO po may lifetime po. Pagkatapos nung LTO, kailangan mo mag-renew. Bupuntahan ka ulit ng FDA. Pag so, nag-renew ka lang. Mm. Tanungin nga natin Opo. si mga Juan kasi mga legal uh, uh, modesty aside, I'm the chairman of the Federation of Philippine Industries and the anti-smuggling and anti-standard, uh, sub-standard products. So mar marami na ho kaming ginagawa, anti-illicit trade, ako rin ang chairman. So anyway, ma salamat. Mang Juan, ano ang tingin mo dito? Uh, should there be a... Because the number one uh, consumer protection law, sinasabi na you have to publish the standard. Now, are these standards being published? Yun ang tanong ko. Because under the law ng Consumer Act, they, the, the, there should be a publication of the standards of any product. Alam mo, Mang Des. Yes, Mang Man. Sa karanasan ko, hmm. lagay mo lahat siyang pre-hacon na yan, mga restriction na yan, mga qualification na yan, mga standard na yan, para sundin ng mga gumagawa. Yes. Pero sa merkado, kung ikaw ay consumer, kailangan simbolo Correct. na ito ay pumasa sa mga uh, gobyerno na namamahala. <laughs> The government... Agencies like the OST, uh, whatever registration bodies there are, should Tama. come together and work out a law with sufficient penalties Yun. for violation. Because if you do not put penalties, so what? You have those all of what you're discussing now. Yeah. Nobody will listen to you and follow you if you, there's no sanction. Yeah, so... It's useless. The, God, the taxpayer will just be wasting money in paying you. Kaya, uh, important yung, yung consumer protection din natin, as important as... Uh, you must look at this problem from the viewpoint of the consumer. It has no time to be scientist or uh, policeman. Because to the market, and sometimes under urgency, and think that all of these products are approved by the government. But the government is sleeping. He must provide the rules with sanctions to punish the violators. To, and to protect the legitimate manufacturer. 
Correct. Ganyan. Pero natutuwa ako, uh, Yusek Ruena, Christina Guevara, sapagkat lumabas na ang inyong uh, study mm -hmm. na talaga palang effective itong virgin coconut oil. Sa ang stage na po ba tayo, ma'am? Nasa last part na po ba tayo na pwede na natin gamitin sa mga ospital talaga regularly itong yeah, BCO? Pwede na lang. Narinig ko sa kay... Na, nanood ako eh. Mm. Yes. Ang, ang ano po natin, ang proseso po natin, kasi sa kasalukuyan, ang BCO po ay classified as supplement ng mm -hmm. FDA. Mm -hmm. So, ibig sabihin po, safe po siya. Pwede okay. po siyang inumin ng kahit sino. Ang sinasabi lang po ng aming study is, pag mild case po ng COVID-19, ay nakatutulong po itong BCO na mas maaga kang gumaling at mm, hindi ka magiging severe case. Alright. Yan yung isang study namin. Yung pangalawang study, napakita din na meron siyang antiviral properties. At ang pangatlo po na kailangan namin gawin, bago po pwede namin sabihin sa DOH, declare nga yan na medicine, ay kailangan pong aralin nila Dr. Fabian Dairit yung mechanism, the chemical mechanism on why BCO is able to do what it is doing. So nakapagsabit na po ng mga proposal itong researchers natin at uumpisahan nilang aralin yan, bakit nga ba kayang pumatay ng virus nitong BCO. Mm -hmm. Pag nasagot po yan, mm -hmm. nakalang po namin pwedeng hingin sa DOH yung pagdedeklara na ang BCO ay gamot para sa COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Pero hanggat di po tapos yung study na yan, ang pwede lang po nating sabihin ay ang BCO ay isang supplement, uh, supplement na pwede mong gamitin para <laughs> kung mild case ka, mm -hmm. ma-reduce yung number of days na magkakaroon ka ng COVID at mabilis ka makarecover at hindi ka magiging severe case. May tanong mo ako, hindi ba pwedeng sabihin na kahit wala kang mild case, pag kumukuha ka, tumitake ka nito, mapiprevent mo na madapuan ka yeah. ng mild case? Ang ganyan pong... Eh, ano, tinatanong ko lang ngayon kasi kailangan pala mild case ka, tsaka ka lang inom. Mm -hmm. kasama, ba sa kasama ba sa study, ma'am, na... Kung it, ano, kung nag-take ng una. Oh. It prevents yung, yung stamina mo, yung, yung mm. body immune. Yes po, yes po ma'am. Yung plastic property po ng BCO ay hindi kasama sa study. Ah, okay. Pero dahil sinlasify na po siya ng FDA na food supplement, mm -hmm. nasa iyo na kung gusto mong gawin. Ah, okay. So, okay. Wala naman po siyang reaction ma'am. Kasi meron ding maraming mga gamot, di ba? May naririnig tayo mang Jess, mang Juan, na mga klase ng gamot na ginagamit sa COVID-19 na nagkakaubusan na nga. Pwede bang uh, magamit? Wala bang mga adverse reaction kung magtitake ng uh, uh, VCO, nagtitake din ng ibang uh, gamot, okay naman po siya, ma'am? Yung tinatawag po natin dyan yung counter na effects, ano po. Mm -hmm. uh, wala pa tayong study dyan, pero ang masasabi po lang natin, gaya po ng kahit na anong bagay na kinakain natin, may pag masyadong dami, pwede may masamang epekto. Mm -hmm. Tapos ang naririnig namin sa mga nagiging uh, participants namin, yung unang uh, araw, mga tatlong araw na pag-take nila ng BCO, nakaka-diarrhea na. Oh, pupunta ka doon sa room. After nung <laughs> three day, <laughs> okay na daw po sila. Hindi. So, ang... Nag-a-adjust ng katawan. Oh, nga rin. Oh, yun oh. lang po yung nasabi sa amin yung na oh. yung, yung magandang Yung effect, sinasabi oh. ni Dr. Uh, Givara, uh, Givara is sa kung sa gamot, yun ang tinatawag na contraindication. Oh, yun lang yeah, yun. Nagka-counter yung gamot. Kaya... Pag nagbasa ka ng gamot, ano ang counter-indication nitong gamot na ito? Anyway, uh, uh, parting words, Yusek, at hihingi ang kurin si Mr. Chusing. Any, anything? Ay, maraming, maraming salamat po at uh, kami po ay naimbitan ninyo para i-explain sa public kung ano po ang benefits ng VCO uh, yes, sa mga yes. mild cases ng COVID-19. At uh, muli po paalala lang natin sa publiko na meron na pong Philippine National Standard ang virgin coconut oil sa Philippines at yun lang po mga pumasa dito na sinertify ng FDA, Food and Drug Administration, ay yun lang po sana ang ating bilhin sa merkado. Maraming salamat po. Ayan. May tanong lang ho ako kay uh, Director Gibala. Pahabol. Uh. Meron ho ba kayo ng kopya? Tanong ko lang ito. Nang lahat ng studies nila, Babayan, uh, Blackburn, Intengan, uh, at saka si Dr. Derrick, Conrado ay yung tatay ha, kasama namin yun. Uh, 80 years old na ako, basta kaalaman nyo. Uh, mayroon na ho ba kayo ng kopya ng lahat na yun? 
Sir, kasama po yan sa literature review ng ating mga scientists. Hindi, tinatanong ko lang ho, kasi uh, tinatanong ko lang ho, ang tanong ko lang ho, mayroon ba kayo? Kung kasama, oh, oh. lahat mayroon. Okay. So, hindi na ako magpapadala oh. kung mayroon kayo lahat. Okay. Salamat okay. po. Naman. Maraming salamat si Yusek Sing, Kibara. any parting word, sing. Uh, si Chiu Sing, ang may gawa nitong ano? Uh, Coco King. Coconut King. Uh. Actually, uh, actually, as I said, I would uh, say those are physically challenged or a have uh, mm. mild cases of uh, COVID, etc., has to at least double the dosage oh, of okay. uh, not only 1.2 gram per body weight of uh, VCO. It's only that uh, uh, dosage is for normal people uh, for to improve immune system. Okay. Okay, thank you. Sing, salamat ng marami sa iyo. Uh, Shee -she, eh. Uh, Thank you. Maraming salamat okay. din kay uh, Maraming salamat UST, din kay Yusek Gibara. Ayan, maraming salamat. Uh, Ayan. Salamat sa inyo at kami magpapatuloy ni Namang Juan. Okay. Maraming salamat. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Siguro mag-break lang muna siguro Break tayo. Muna tayo. Uh, Mang Jess, Mang Juan, 824 mm. na po. Siguro Subscribe to SMNI News Channel and turn on notification button for more news updates.